segue a little bit. We're about a year ago. It's crazy. That you helped me with the strength training, and, and I am truly grateful for that. Yeah. The, the results of what was accomplished that day. I knew that it was strong, but it really solidified the message that I was going out to convey. Um, can you talk a little bit about when I first approached you? You know, some of the thoughts that went through your mind <laughs> when I said, "Yeah, can we?" Do the strength training what is with this, this product? Invention. Well, I can't tell you. No. <laughs> um, I had no idea what to expect. At first, you were like, I really can't tell you much about it. We're, I think you were in like the patent pending. So yes. a year ago, you were still, which you're patent pending now, but you were in the process where it wasn't even something that you could speak about because it wasn't even there yet, right? right? It, was, it was mysterious walking in that day, and I'm like, all right, so can you tell me what this is now? And you told me, and I remember being like, okay, like, this is going to be interesting. And basically, let's see if we can break it. And we didn't break it. We, we stopped for safety reasons. <laughs> Describe the vertical Olympic barbell. <laughs> so we took a, a barbell, so anyone that thinks like a standard barbell for deadlift, squats, Olympic lifting, whatever, 45 pound barbell, and we stood it straight up and, and less uh, tethered it to the racks in our gym so that it would stay up vertical. And then we tried to get it as vertical as possible because we wanted the weight to go straight down. Yes. But what I mean is so that the weight wasn't resting against the barbell. Like it was truly all supported um, on. I think that that's what the sandbag did. The sandbag kind of offset it a oh, little bit. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yep. So but um, then we removed the sandbag. So maybe the weight was touching it. We can look at the video. Yeah. But it, I, I don't remember. But, but yeah, so, so <laughs> it was there and then we hung this over the top, correct? Yes. Yeah, and then we and then we proceeded one, just one anchor. Yes, and then we proceeded to load it up with uh, originally a sandbag, but that became a balance issue, um, and then we just started loading it up with Olympic plates, 45 pounds each, and I think we got to over 600 pounds. What do we have so far, Chris? 405 pounds. 438 pounds. Okay, we added 70, so we are at 475. 475. Where are we at now, Chris? 508. So we're at. 545 pounds. 545 pounds should, was a total of? 578. Okay. Yeah. 615 pounds. 615 pounds. 615 on the fixed loop. Okay. So the life, the lifetime model had uh, 615 pounds. Yeah. When, when we, you know, it was kind of a mutual decision. It still wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, you did a full test on this. It was the same seat. And this, everything, Fabric wise, still hanging up. Yeah. We did uh, three different tests. Yeah. And um, with different uh, different buckles. Yeah. Which was interesting. The, the, the buckle that. Uh, the one bent, the metal one maybe? The metal one, yeah. I yeah. thought that was going to be the strongest one. So we're not even using that. We're using the, the synthetic synthetic buckle, which is uh, held over 500 pounds. So yeah. Everything is still being held in place. Well oh. over 500. And then the, the lifetime version. We'll have the fixed loop, and should we hit 615? It's like we don't do. We don't even need to go any further. Yeah. That. that was just. And on one, so that now it's distributed between two in that case, right? Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. Before we put even the sandbag into it, and we're starting off with our our 33 pounds. Did you have it? The guess it's like okay, you know, we're gonna put in. How much weight did you think the thing would hold? I don't know that I had a number in mind. Um, I'll say I, I don't think that I imagined we were going to go as heavy as we did. If you listen, like I can put my weight on it. You know, you don't hear any creaking. It doesn't sound like the fabric's about to go. It's kind of blowing my mind. <laughs> Even for just reasons of balancing all that weight and looking at it and be like, oh my God, if this goes wrong, this is going to go very wrong. <laughs> There's so much weight on here that the bar is actually pushing things forward. I don't know. I mean, it, I don't know that I had a number in mind. But if you would have said to me to guess, I probably would have said, you know, because it's, you know, it's, it's looking at you like, oh, it's fabric. Maybe, maybe 300 some pounds, 400 pounds, not hundreds past that. But yeah, I don't know that I, I, I know that I didn't have a guess going in because I was just kind of sitting back like really trying to wrap my mind around what everything was because prior to that you hadn't really been able to talk about what it was so I was taking it all in that day so I, I completely forgot that I said showing I just, up I was blind to what I, we I just want to use your weights and, and test the strength of this invention 
That was that was pretty cool of you. That's really really cool of you. Thank you. Well, all right. So your professional opinion. All right. We stopped at six fifteen for for safety reasons. In your professional opinion, knowing how strong everything was, or <laughs> your inspection of it, yeah. what do you think we could have loaded in there? Six hundred sixteen pounds, probably no. Uh, I don't know. A lot more. I mean, what you then went on to pull a truck with it. We've got a uh, Dodge 4x4 pickup, we got a tow strap hooked up, and then we have a Taylor Freedom Seat. This is a fixed loop uh, Freedom Seat in the strength testing that we did at uh, Beyond Strength Performance with Chris Merritt. Uh, the only difference is that I've rolled up a piece of two inch webbing and inserted it into the anchor, and then the same thing on this side. You can see we got a little bit of an incline. Take out the slacks. No. Start towing. And see if you can make it up the, uh, the hill there. So, a lot more. Um, not, the only thing that, when we stopped at 615 pounds, um, it, it genuinely was more of a, we did hear some noises, I remember, and we were like, all right, what was that? Like, let's look, and it was like, more just like things like settling, I guess, because nothing gave. And I was just pointing out here how, because of the way that the weight's distributed, this is, it's not that taut. Like, it, it's, even just thinking about just... the weight pushing against the fabric, because, you know, it, it's a, a human being sitting in this. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm on my, my, the weight is not all in the seat. Like some is on my legs, not much. Like I'm, I'm chilling, sitting here. Yes. But um, that was plates for a barbell, all just centrally, centrally located, pushing into the fabric of the seat. So I, I would have expected to see um, stretching or tearing or like a thinning of the material around that. Because you think about it, like sure it's gonna be flat, but because of the seat underneath the weight there's actually a little bit of space because of the way that the material is right so yeah. you would have expected the ring of the plate to have stretching tearing nothing so um the other place i think that you would expect was maybe up here or here but nothing do you see any fraying or any uh, seam that's uh, starting to rip nope. or any slippage of anything in the anchor no i mean there's Nope. <laughs> Hundreds more. More than more than anyone should be concerned with for any of the, the creative uses I've seen beyond a seat with this. So yeah, the applications are many. Yeah. I was very fortunate to find this material. My friend Jamie said to me, it's it's a bit over engineered. He said you could probably tow a truck with this. And yes. It's, and then know, we did. So we did. <laughs> and and I'm okay with it being over engineered. You know, could we save a few grams? Yeah, but it weighs four ounces as it is.